What is good, YouTube? So the other day, I asked a very interesting question on my YouTube channel. And the question is, who dropped more bangers? And this is referring to Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. And as you can see, we got 109 votes. And it's pretty obvious here. 94% uh, of you guys said Cartoon Network and only 6% Nickelodeon. And that's that's kind of crazy. I was thinking it was going to be a bit more divided here. But 94% is pretty high. Like most of you guys, without a doubt, think Cartoon Network has dropped the most bangers. And honestly, like I do agree. But let's say I ask the question instead of who dropped more bangers. What if it was what's the better network and that might sound the same but just because one has more bangers doesn't mean they're gonna win automatically and i was thinking about it and what makes it actually hard to just answer that question is one thing and one culprit only let me open it up right here the picture and the one culprit you guys already know is spongebob squarepants like spongebob makes this question a lot harder because spongebob is arguably like the greatest cartoon of all time let me open up the uh cartoon network side here so spongebob is the juggernaut of nickelodeon and he's holding down the whole thing literally on his back and i don't think any other cartoon can really compared to what spongebob is doing like so with spongebob in mind is cartoon network still on top that's that's where it gets a little difficult is cartoon network still on top here so let me actually screenshot this we're gonna open it up in paint we're about to we're about to go in on here because this is actually a, a, a interesting question i was thinking about and i want to know what you guys think so in terms of like relevancy and popularity, SpongeBob, I think has the bag though. So let's actually go through this and kind of examine it because this could be a close call if you think about it. So SpongeBob's literally on a class of his own. Like if we're gonna rate this, I would say he is an S plus class. Like s plus s tier plus because no one's on that level and i don't think any other cartoon on the nickelodeon side would hit the s plus this is in terms of relevancy popularity and like how good the show is too but mainly relevancy and popularity and this is my opinion too at the same time so i want to know what you guys think too so spongebob s plus um, what else is the S plus? I don't think there's any other S plus, but I would say for an S, for an S, I would say Fairly Odd Parents would be an S in terms of relevancy, popularity, and all that. I would I would put Fairly Odd Parents in S because they held down Nickelodeon pretty hard too. Then also I would say we can't sleep on Rugrats. Rugrats would also be an S tier cartoon because they were super popular back in the day like a lot of people watch rugrats but like when it comes to spongebob i don't know a single person literally that hasn't watched spongebob so that's that's where he becomes an s plus so what else is an s here what else is an s um what else is an s like top tier cartoon everybody watched um hmm maybe at the time maybe at the time i would probably say hey arnold but that's i'm not sure if everyone watched it that's the thing but uh, hey arnold hey arnold could probably be between an s and an a i think but let's put hey arnold as an a because i'm not sure like how relevant he was at the time i know like it was a lot more popular but did everybody watch it that's not that's what i'm not too sure about 
Um, Danny Phantom, I would say, would be an A as well. Um, Jimmy Neutron was popping, but I would say it's an A. Um, Elijah Thornberry, Wild Thornberries. That was popular too. See, Hey Arnold and Wild Thornberry, they, they probably can get an S too, but I'm going to put an A. I'm going to put an A. And then... All these were bangers though, don't get me wrong. They're all bangers, like, they're all good cartoons. But I'm just trying to think of, like, the popularity of it. And then this is based just on my own thoughts here. Because, honestly, Avatar is one of the greatest cartoons as well, in my opinion. And I would put him in an S class, but I feel like I know a lot of people that haven't watched Avatar, which is crazy. But Avatar would be... Mmm, Avatar, I feel like a lot of people haven't watched it for some reason. But I would say it could be an A slash B. Because I feel like it's slept on. I'll put an A slash B. I, th I think it's slept on. Um, Doug, I feel like it's kind of low key too. Um, Cat Dog. Oh, I'm not too sure about those and how much people watch them. I know they were popular back in the day. Angry Beavers would probably be a B too. Um, All Real Monsters probably a B. Rocket Power could probably be an A. Rocket Power could probably be an A. Invader Zim. Ah, oh, that's a tough one too. Invader Zim. I'm not too sure. What do you guys think about that one? Let me know what you guys think about some of these other ones. I'm not sure uh what to put him as but mainly i'm focusing on is like the bangers the heavy hitters spongebob for sure fairly odd parents s rugrats s and let me know what you guys think about um zany phantom i'm not too sure about either it could be an s but an a for sure so that's the nickelodeon side so when we come to the cartoon network side definitely have a lot of bangers but are they hitting like spongebob so let's see the s classes on 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 the cartoon network side so s classes um i'm gonna use green i guess so it's easier to see so s classes on the cartoon network side definitely definitely gotta be powerpuff girls so s powerpuff girls definitely everyone i feel like everyone kind of watched powerpuff girls like everyone knows about it S for Powerpuff Girls. Um, would they hit S plus? I'm not sure if they'd hit S plus. S though for sure. Um, let's see what else. Then we got Dexter. Dexter's an S too for sure, no doubt. Let me use let me use this green. It's kind of hard to see, but Dexter, no doubt, an S plus cartoon. Dexter um ed ed and eddie is probably going to be an s plus two not an s plus but an s as well just an s i feel like that's another banger pretty much everybody's seen but not on that spongebob level though not that spongebob level codename kids next door hmm codename kids next door would that be an s would that be an S? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, code name Kids Next Door. I could probably give it an S slash A. S slash A. So we'll do S slash A. Because I feel like it definitely was popping. But is it was it popping as much as Powerpuff Girls and Dexter was? That that's the question of the day. And then we also have um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Definitely to ask what else was there. Um, uh, Foster's Home. Mm, I'm not too sure about Foster's. But then we have Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. I I feel like it gets the same treatment as avatar like it was slept on like an a b because i feel like not that many people saw it 
that I know. Like, they know about it, but they haven't really watched it. So I feel like it's kind of slept on. So it, it might get that A slash B treatment. Although, it, it, I think it would be an S class cartoon in terms of how good it was. But I don't think that much people really watched it for some reason. Um, then we got Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo could be like uh, an A, I guess. But what's the S pluses, though? What's on the SpongeBob level? So... I was looking at the picture. I didn't realize this when I first saw this picture, but we have Tom and Jerry and Scooby-Doo. And we can't deny the power of Tom and Jerry and Scooby-Doo. So they would have to be an S plus because Tom and Jerry is like timeless. Tom and Jerry to this day, there's memes about it and stuff. It's still like relevant, which is crazy. It's super old. So I would have to give Tom and Jerry an S plus. And I feel like I'd have to give Scooby-Doo an S plus as well, because the same situation goes as um, Tom and Jerry. It's timeless. Everyone knows Scooby-Doo. Everybody knows Scooby-Doo. Just as much people that know Scooby-Doo and Tom and Jerry, I feel like know about SpongeBob. But SpongeBob is still on top, I believe. Um, so there's two S pluses on the Cartoon Network side. And then one S plus on the Nickelodeon side. But here's the question. So if you choose one side, think about it like this. If whatever, whatever side you choose, your memory gets erased from the other side. So if you choose Cartoon Network, you'll erase all your, all your memory of all these shows. So then what would you, what would you choose? Would you want to risk losing the memory of Spongebob, all the memes, all the jokes, all that stuff about Spongebob that's like current to this day and keep the memory of all these bangers? Or would you mind, would you rather lose all the bangers and keep the memory of all these shows? If I put it that way, what would you guys choose? So this is kind of just something I was thinking about when I uh, put that question up there and I was kind of shocked about the outcome I thought it'd be more divided so when I put it this way what do you guys think what do you guys think um, based off this Cartoon Network to me still might take the W just because we have uh, Spun um, Tom and Jerry and Scooby-Doo those two they're legendary bangers legendary bangers S plus here as well but it's it's really tough though it's really tough just because spongebob's here spongebob alone makes this situation a lot harder if there was no spongebob on here it would be a dub easy bag like for cartoon network no doubt but that's the situation i was thinking about so let me know what you guys think in the comments what side is taking it and if you say nickelodeon let me know like why why do you guys think nickelodeon and actually, before we end this off, there were some comments on this um, post here. And there's one in particular that was interesting. This one here says, if we're talking about the 90s, Nick all the way, but 2000s, Cartoon Network. And is that true? Because in the 90s, they had Angry Beavers. We had Rocket Power, All Real Monsters, Doug, Hey Arnold. They had some bangers right there. And of course, there's more that they're not listed here. But just those alone were pretty good 90s bangers. But then again, on the Cartoon Network side, 90s bangers, we had Dexter, Powerpuff Girls, um, Johnny Bravo, Tom and Jerry, Scooby-Doo. Nah, Cartoon Network takes it both ways. I, I, there's no way. If it was 90s, Cartoon Network takes it. But... In terms of overall, I think Cartoon Network takes it, but Spongebob, he's really making it tough. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you want to see more videos like this and subscribe. Peace out. I'm looking forward to the comments, y'all. Take care.